exactly that. You know, I love the fact that studies show that women would rather talk about death than money. <laughs> and you know, who, who can change that sensibility are women's funds. We're in the business of embracing others, bringing money together, but mostly we've been parceling it out in beautiful and, and meaningful ways through philanthropy. But it, it occurred to us, and I think it's occurred to many because of actually what we've learned through WFN conferences, that the asset investments that we can make can move the needle perhaps faster and more powerfully than what we're, the goodness that we're sprinkling out through philanthropy. And working the two together is a very powerful combination. So I personally believe that women's funds and foundations can be the leaders in <laughs> stating and making the case for why our assets must be invested and aligned with mission as much as our philanthropy. Fantastic. Um, so Melinda, how are you actually moving the needle? It looks like you're investing yeah. lots of money. Uh, what else are you doing? And, and maybe if you can even connect it to some of the most acute barriers that you're seeing out there. Sure, and the video is great, but I think we're doing so much more because the, we, the video highlighted some of our lending opportunities, but we're also using the bank's own money in a variety of ways. So one of the things that we're looking at is we want to take a look at transformational change and that not that includes not only removing some of the institutional barriers that exist but also creating new organizations so we believe that women should really be funding women and some examples of that that we look at is our partnership with all raise and i don't know how many of y'all are familiar with that okay so all Raise is an incredible organization. Their goal is to increase the number of, of women funders as well as founders. And the goal is incredible and aggressive. They're looking to double the number of women venture capitalists and also to increase the number of women entrepreneurs from, I think it's currently 10% to 25% in five years. And so we partner with them in a number of ways. We, we, are a sponsor of theirs, and then we also take a look at helping them with programming, particularly around pay equity. So a specific example is that a lot of times, information is power and information is key. So we have access to an incredible amount of data on how venture capitalists are compensated, and we share that data and help women who are in the venture world negotiate to get paid what they're worth. So that's one of the ways that we take a look at making a difference. Well, it's pretty urgent because uh, five years ago, 2.9% of all venture dollars were going to women entrepreneurs, women, or companies run by women, uh, and it's now 2.2%. So we're going in the wrong direction. Um, uh, Tracy, would you give us a little bit of an insight into what actually happens for women of color? If it's only 2.2% two, yeah. 2 .2 for all women, um, you know, yeah. are black women getting investing uh, opportunities from venture capital? No. <laughs> That's such a surprise. Yeah. Um, well, if you, so I entered venture capital in 1999, and there's 10% of the venture capitalists were women. Now it's somewhere between 8 and 6%. Yeah. Um, and then we were, 20 years ago, we were getting 3% of the capital. Now, like you said, we're at 22 and um, this is statistically impossible with the numbers of women coming in. So there are not just unconscious bias, there is a conscious bias, keeping structural um, barriers, keeping us out. Um, so when you look at women of color, it, everything's lower. So right now, I think women of color get less than 1% right. of all venture capital. Um, if you're a black woman, you get 0.006%, which is a rounding error, right? It doesn't even change anything. Um, and then women, I think 95% of all capital mm -hmm. around the world, finance, the finance industry is run by white men. Mm -hmm. And if you're talking about women of color, once again, it's a rounding error. So, but you look, then you look at 35 Women, um, people of color are 35% more likely to have above average returns on their companies, and women is 15%. So it's not only they're not investing with their own values, they're leaving value on the table, right? right? And so um, there's thir one more number. I was an engineer, so I just love I'm numbers. A, I'm a University of Chicago <laughs> one word. Okay. So go, there's go uh, only 30 
34 black women who have raised over a million dollars, and I think I know three of them, and that is nothing to celebrate, you know? Uh, and you want to like, oh, yay, and it's no. like, what? No, really? mm -mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Lat Latinx women, same thing. Yeah, yeah. So um, who's, who's working in this space and, doing, and trying to do something innovative or move the needle, or are we just kind of trying the same stuff we've always tried? No, I mean, there's a lot of people, well, not a lot. <laughs> Why even use that word when it, in finance and women and people of color? There are people who are working within the system, like right. all raise is working yeah. within the system. Um, I am working outside the system just because, you know, this system was created by white men okay. and it's working really, really well for them. <laughs> so there is zero incentive mm -hmm. to change. And you can see this over 20 years that these numbers are going down, right? So I think. What I like to say is like, I don't want to create a new lane in the same highway. I want to do the hovercrafts that are going over and they're women, women yeah. people of color. Awesome. Awesome. So with um, my nonprofit, we, we Are Enough, the We Are Women, and we are launching a global campaign to educate women around the world at every economic level, whether you have 25 cents or $25 or $25 million, whether you have a piggy bank or own a bank, we're gonna, we will show you how, I want you to own that bank, that's why I point out. Get on we'll show that. you how, and why time, you, know. you can invest in women-owned businesses or with a gender lens on the capital markets. So, so, so Trish, you have been a long time VC.